Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are. Alright, fuck it. Let's kill you guys. Oh, it turns out these guys are weak. Oh no, he's trying to ah, blocked. Oh no, they're all trying. I didn't do that properly, did I? I'm gonna do that again. Got the PP and I'm ready. Boom, boom. I turn all that. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna follow them. Oh shit. I've got a chest. Then we go down. Oh! I did it again. I just sometimes feel like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway and then they'll try and use him for his gift and he'll become a weapon they won't stop looking for him we have to keep everything secret even from him i'm so frazzled will you just make love to me of course i will darling <sighs> oh, oh. oh shit this is something you don't want to see Oh my days.
I'm gonna stomp on him all. Trying to smite me, you little shit. Go, 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 get off the warlock. Six thousand six hundred and ninety-nine health. One, one, roll, one, 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 Matrix. I run. Didn't do fuck all. Sparkle, sparkle, sunshine. 
Sunshine, Sparkle, Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes, yeah, that's right sure, right right away. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, Sparkle, Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh. yeah. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're gonna send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you wanna meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Did you well... Get We've been trying to infiltrate the girls' base for years. That was just cancer. Right, two, right, which one do you have me in with? Is it you? Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! Uh -huh. We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank! Guys, wait! Please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this! They want me! Your pain will be music to my ears. Well, you just had to start it, didn't you? <laughs> Sleep now, the whippoorwills are dancing. Gently now, put your mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience. <laughs> We're gonna stomp. Let's go. Right, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right. So, we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! Oh, God, I want to die.
Really? clinic and find the records room take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us that will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is i'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this if any of us are spotted in there people might think we're sluts like jessica rodriguez hey guys hey jesse what are you up to oh nothing just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch cool we'll see you around awesome skank all right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Well, now you're more of a du douchette. All right, let's go in. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. Operating room A. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. Clenching! What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. What we got? Logical gloves. I am a doctor. I can go in, yes. These the records you're after? Are these the ones? Ah! Ah, damn it! Run these oh, back. You. Thank God. Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the Peggy. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? Peggy is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7. All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building. Put that woman in restraints. Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous and bigoted. I happen to be German. Is one of them? Ah! Tell people what you saw here today. Let's go. Quarantine the place. Um. Oh, shit. Powder. Oh dear. It's okay, because I got a plan. Ah, shit. I'm 
gonna do my wall dance now. <laughs> Mr. Kim, defend me against Nazi rights. Oh shit. Over here, sir. I got him. Do you hear anything in there? I'm not here. I'm not here. Randy? Nobody move! Oh, uh, what's going on? I, I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor? Teehee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! No Nazi oh, zombies goodness. here. I swear. Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds it dear. Every animal, big Phew. or small. Ow, my balls! Christmas means my balls. so much my to balls. us. Balls. My, my favorite shopping year. balls. I'll close it's at Christmas five, Doctor. Can we please get this over with quickly? And it happens once a year. It's once a year at Christmas time. Oh, that's cold. That's cold. When we hear about how Christmas only comes once a year. Fucking lovely. Is that blood? I told you that thing isn't a doctor. Fry it. What? He is all real. Oh God, it's snagged. He did it. All right, so he is a real doctor. I'm real. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Go! Ah! What the hell is that? <laughs> Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh my god. <laughs> Nazi fetus. I'm here for you, buddy. God damn it. Look at that little fella. Are those little babies sucking blood? I've got an idea. I'm gonna slam them down. Feel my righteous fury. Lightning, bitches. Load and burn in and defense down. That's how we like it. Dang. One shot. That's it. That's it. The area is secure. Code green. It's not secure. Tell all units the outbreak has been contained. It's not contained. What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained. You, you don't understand. Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning. She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen. Oh, 
trouble for this. Jesus Christ, that is the biggest fetus I've ever fucking seen. Ooh, a bit early on that. I should sort him out. Another victory for the good game. Yay! Bye. I just want to thank you for your help. All right then, let's go. You know the drill. Let's go see the kills. Yes, sister. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! Come on, why? Oh. Where are the boys? They're in the Kyle's garden, are they? Some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north. Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, and spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you will have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the lost forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first, or you won't make it past border control. Right, so we need a picture then.